rápidamente se incorpora en Undertaker. Viene Misterio. Matada por Adonis. Casi en la cara. Board Games has a new title up on Kickstarter. And it's definitely caught my attention. It caught my attention before it even hit Kickstarter. As some of you already know, because I've talked about it before, at the gaming radar. Well, the Kickstarter is here. And you know what? It was on my gaming radar for a reason. So I backed it. Yes, this is definitely a game I think that should be kickstarted instead of drop kicked. Let me tell you a little bit about The Lost Worlds of Josh Kirby by Bard Games. First of all, Josh Kirby himself. Josh Kirby, if you don't know him, you may know him without knowing that you know him. His art has appeared in so many places throughout the science fiction and fantasy communities. It's graced the covers of Ray Bradbury, uh, book covers like the Martian Chronicles uh, and Terry Pratchett's uh, Discworld books. He's also been a featured painter and illustrator for Return of the Jedi poster and the Tunnels and Trolls role-playing game, among others. His art is fantastic. It is unbelievable. And Bard Games is actually working with the uh, Kirby estate on this. And they have gotten access to some amazing artwork that hasn't been seen before. Artwork that isn't necessarily from his, his massive volume of work uh, in the field already. Now, it may be enough to back the game for that if you're a big enough fan of science fiction and fantasy art, or specifically of Josh Kirby. But what about the game itself? That's another reason why I did back this game. Now, I do enjoy science fiction games, and this is a great science fiction conquest style game from everything that I've seen, everything that they've shown, everything on the Kickstarter. This does look like a great sci-fi conquest style game but now besides that it delves into a style of game that i'm only just now dabbling my my feet into a little bit with one other uh style game under my belt already from kickstarter i'm waiting to get and that includes this one now as well and that's a legacy style game the bundle pack version of of the backer level has legacy style rules and extra boards and stickers and things that you're going to need to play a game that's not only going to be a game of, of conquest of planets, but a game that is going to shape and affect the entire galaxy as well as future games moving forward. The game system is also something else that grabbed my attention because it is, it is really simple. It has at its base core Really all it is, is rolling dice to find out what your available actions are going to be. Then using those dice, taking those action dice, you're going to be able to do things like a move action, which is something that you're going to use to send your fleet out, because you're going to use that for conquests. Maybe uh, you're, going to, you're going to do that exactly. Maybe that's what you're going to use the dice for. You're going to acquire worlds, and you're going to need to have a certain power or presence of, of fleet there already. You use Renown to unlock even more bonus choices that you're going to have during the course of the game. And then the controlled worlds themselves that you've already conquered, that you've already colonized, that you've already taken control of. Well, each of them not only are scoring you victory points, but they're also giving you an availability to certain abilities, effects, powers that you are not going to have if you did not acquire those worlds. The game has something that uh, I've seen in a few games, but not in enough games. And that's this morality track. That during the course of the game, as you, as you acquire these planets, as you take over them, you, you get to kind of choose how it's being done and, and, and what the after effects are. So basically you're setting yourself up through the course of the game as being this sort of and, you know, running the gambit anywhere from between sort of a beneficial leader to somewhere neutral in the middle, all the way to like a tyrannical despot. And they're going to have different effects in the game. And they're also going to have different effects also as well in that space opera legacy mode. And this really kind of, this has me excited. It really does. Because it really tweaks the game to this unique point 
And I say unique point because it's unique to you because you are making that decision of how you wanna, how you wanna take it, how you were, you were maneuvering the future of the game. Now I mentioned the the bundle pack, which is one of the backer levels, and in this it has uh, has something really 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 cute uh, and really fun that looks like it's gonna really enjoyably take up a lot of your time, several hours of your time, I guess at the very least. And it's something that uh, it's something I like to do, and it's something my, my wife loves to do actually. So it's the kind of thing that 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 could work for someone that's not even a gamer in this sense. And that's something that they call the the Lost Worlds of Josh Kirby Mission Log. And what this is is a coloring book. They've taken his 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 art and and just removed the color from it, basically, so that you're able to do it how you want. You get to choose what the colors in your own specific world, your coloring book world, is going to be, and that's going to be hours of fun. Now, already at this point, uh, and this should be dropping the day after I'm recording this, uh, it should be, but uh, yeah, it's uh, right now, already like eight of the stretch goals have been unlocked already, and that's something like nine new worlds as options while playing the game, and uh, an upgrade to the dice and the meeples. It uses some meeples, not a lot. Uh, champion meeples and they and the dice are upgraded to a really nice nice resin cast now like many kickstarters do this has some add-ons that you might be interested in they don't remember add-ons don't come with the kickstarter they're not uh stretch goals that you get as free as a bonus literally they're add-ons so uh one of them is is of course and this is this has become very popular i think with a lot of kickstarters i've seen and that is an upgrade uh, to either a board or in this case giving a mat, a game mat this is a, this is a uh, two foot by three foot double sided neoprene uh, game mat and it's going to it's gonna look really nice on the table and it's going to help you set up the cards, where they go and, and really something nice to look at while you're playing the game not that you would need anything nice to look at, this art is amazing now, the final thing I want to talk about about this Kickstarter, I just want to let you know, because this is this is really, really nice. And that's on the Kickstarter page. There's a link. Because the Kirby Estate has actually shared three personal letters from Ray Bradbury himself to Josh Kirby. And they did this to help celebrate the impact that these two legendary sci-fi fantasy geniuses uh, have brought and delivered to the field. And it's it's really nice. Please go check that out. Uh, that link is on their Kickstarter, and it's a beautiful touch. It really is. So, the Lost Worlds of Josh Kirby. This game is definitely worth kickstarting. We kickstarted it here at Two Gun Pixie. Why don't you join us? We'll see you there.